Now I'm going to show you how to use Google Jupyter Notebook to simulate protein degradation. Let me first type Google Jupyter Notebook. And their service is called Collaboratory, as you can see here. So let me click this. Actually, I have a Google account, so let me first sign in. That's my email address, my password, and I'm here. Let's cancel this first. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new notebook. So let's create new Python 3 notebook. So I will click here I have that. So maybe I want to have a name as protein degradation. Now let me explain the code. So first thing we want to do is importing a NumPy, which is a scientific computing package as NP, and another package for plotting, and we import that package as PLT. And this large N is the total number of data points for the simulation. It basically tells us how long the simulation will be, and we have 50 for large N. A small N is just a vector that goes from 0 to n minus 1, in this case, 49. So it's an integer vector. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 49. And the total number of data points is, again, 50. Small y represents protein y concentration. The unit is micromolar. And initially, uh, the values are all empty. y of 0 is the first initial y protein concentration. And we say it is 100 micromolar. And py is degradation perimeter and the value is 0 0.9 and we have this for loop so i is discrete time index goes from 1 up to n this n is not included meaning that we go from 1 up to 49 actually so 1 2 3 4 up to 49 and we have this degradation equation y of i is py times y of i minus 1 we have some lines for for plotting the result so plt dot plot small n which is this vector so basically i have the plot here and small n goes from 0 to 49. this small y is protein concentration vector and basically we are plotting small n against small y so for each value of small n we have small y value this g stands for green that's why we have green color graph here. And label y is shown here. Plot.x label time i is shown here. So x label is basically the label for x axis or horizontal axis. And plot.y label is for this one. Protein concentration, micromolar. Plot.legend is for this one and the location is upper right so upper right plot the title is shown here because we have plot the grid we have horizontal and vertical grid and plot the show displays this plot you can run the simulation by clicking this arrow and you will see the result note that we observe exponential decrease